Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm finally going to put together my haul. And uh, this was a long time coming. This is cumulative from uh, the beginning of September. I've been waiting for some of these packages to come in the mail via my brother or Ulta. You know, it's just, it's taken a while. But I got a bunch of stuff like this is a lot. I didn't think that doing this haul video would consist of these many products, but once you start putting things all together, compiling them, it's like, what the hell did I do? But anyways, I'm gonna get straight into it since there's so many things in here and hopefully we don't run too long. Starting with some Ulta stuff, my brother had sent me my skincare items. I thought sending him Ulta stuff would mean that I would get it faster, but that's not the case. From now on, I'm just gonna order it and wait, I don't know, the month and a half, two months. First up, we have the COSRX AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. And it's one of these ones here that you, you know, do you one of those things with. Given the skincare routine that I'm looking to have, which is a very simplified version, I figured I'd do moisturizer, toner, serum, and sunscreen. So those are the things that I picked up and I finally have my toner with me for moisturizer i got the clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel i have used this before in the past and i do like it it wears nice on my skin and for some reason i might need to step up my moisturizer i'm not sure see how this goes but i'm noticing my skin is a lot drier than usual but nothing has changed like my diet's the same i still drink water maybe it's it's the weather maybe Maybe it's my allergies I I really couldn't tell you but I'm gonna keep an eye on how my skin is faring and seeing if I might need to go up in emolliency if that's even a word <laughs> for my serum I went with the ordinary buffet and it says it's a multi technology peptide serum and this is what it looks like it just has one of those droppers and it doesn't smell like anything. I'm really trying to make sure that my skincare doesn't have fragrance because of my sensitive nose. It's just, it is a wreck right now and I can't add too much more stressors to it. So I'm going to be trying this out and I think what I'm going to do is do most of my skincare at night. And when I wake up, maybe I'll just wash my face sunscreen and moisturizer all right let's do some tools um i did get the nyx i tried this out why i put it back in here i don't know the nyx professional makeup brush and this is the number 37 this brush reminded me of the 170 from mac and that is my favorite foundation brush but this is 15 bucks and the other one is like close to 40. i don't feel like it's quite like the 170. i'm still gonna use it i've only used it once so I'm going to continue to use it and see how it fares. And then on ColourPop, when I got the Bare Necessities palette, I'll show that to you in a little bit. But uh, when I got that palette, I ended up getting two brushes. I am almost certain I got these brushes so that I could get free shipping. So the first one here is the F2. And this is the kind of brushes that I like to use for my blush. It looks dense, but it's very soft and fluffy. And that's what I like to use to kind of apply blush on my cheeks and then I got the E3 and this is just a basic shader brush a little bit lengthier I can use this to apply products in the inner corner this is also good for spot concealing I probably won't use it for that but I could also use this for applying my eye primer also in that Ulta box I got the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponges I got a two pack I'm gonna be throwing my old one away it is coming apart it's on its last leg so i'm going to whip one of these ones out and have a spare for i don't know somewhere down the line more ulta stuff these are the kiss lashes and this is in the style teddy i have used this on my channel before i loved the way that it looked and it didn't feel as heavy as some of the other lashes that i've tried though they are a bit of a fuller lash i like them got a three pack i have no regrets all right now i'm gonna move on to a pr item i guess you would call it pr right when you gifted something to try out and see how you like them this pr is from a local company this is lp beauty 
right here. I'll be linking her um, website as well as her IG handle down below if you're interested in checking the company out. But she sells lashes, she has contacts, and I did wear the contacts in my previous Get Ready With Me and I wore it in the shade gray. And then this one here I have in amber. I haven't opened this one out yet, but it's basically like a honey shade. And when I do open them up, it'll probably be on a Get Ready With Me or some sort of video so that I can show you guys what the products look like. But these aren't like circle lenses that come in those vials. They are are those individual packets so that means you can put them directly onto your eyes whereas the vials you usually have to wait about a day to soak it in a um, regular solution in addition to that I got a whole bunch of lashes I was so surprised but very grateful that I was gifted these many items I didn't I was thinking I was gonna get two or three lashes but I mean she really spoiled me so thank you very much this first pair here is in LP09 man do these look good when I put them on they looked very natural but once I put mascara and kind of blended my lashes together oh my goodness these next one here are in LP10 and it's just kind of like that flare traditional lash this one in LP07 and this kind of has those crisscross um, hairs so that you kind of get a little bit more flare in every direction when you apply them but they aren't heavy they'll kind of match a lot of people's natural lengths but just giving it a little bit more volume and then these one here are the first pair that I tried out um, it was the first photo that I posted up on IG where I put on the contacts for the first time I think it was on a black top if I'm not mistaken but these are just very light it's a very like soft lash just adds the tiniest bit of length and more curl and volume to your natural lashes and then for the more dramatic lashes i got this first pair here and this one is in doreen this pair here has a lot of curl a lot of volume but still not dramatic enough where it's just black all across the eye i think it, it has that nice fluff to it and tapering at the end of each hair this one here is in autumn i can't wait to try these i almost wore them today but i really wanted to save them for a get ready with me like a first impression try on but i'm so excited for these these are the types of lashes i love it it varies in length so it looks pc and it's not too full so that i can still see like you know the makeup work that I do and then lastly we have teenage dream these are full and these are layered and I'm gonna use this when I'm like glamming so maybe a New Year's look oh my gosh with the stone cold Fox palette by the way that's like literally coming home in a car as we speak we're going back to these lashes again very full they're layered so that you see different kind of lengths and pieces coming out when you're at a profile angle but these don't happen to be as long as these ones here so more volume than anything with these lashes they're still long but not as long as those uh green boxes so thank you again i'll be linking the information down below this is a local company she had wanted it to in her own words fill in a gap that was missing in you know our local area and so she started her own company and i do want to help promote the company this company is doing very well on island i know a lot of girls love picking up these lashes and i think she's also sold quite a bit um, in the states as well so lots of lashes we have some contacts and i will be using them in upcoming videos i'm planning on saving either eyeshadows or blush for last so let's move on to a bronzer i got the mark jacobs omega bronze coconut perfect tan bronzer you know what i'm trying to say full transparency i didn't see the coconut part i just thought it was called omega bronzer that doesn't even smell like coconut it smells like those you know those small erasers that were shaped and like you know fruits when you're a kid and then you smell you know that smell that's what it smells like 
to me at least. I don't know. But this is what the bronzer looks like. I'm excited to use it. This was on sale at Sephora and um, since I was getting those other items from Ulta um, and I had a few other things that I wanted to pick up from Sephora, I figured I'm just gonna buy this. I went with the shade Tantastic. This was the most popular shade option available if I am not mistaken. That shade there and it's a good light bronzer. I prefer something that's a bit more subtle since I do um, cream contour as well and so my only real dark um, bronzer is Casino from NARS. Everything else is in and around this uh, same kind of color family. But yeah, it really doesn't smell like anything. That's a good thing. I really don't like the smell of coconut. Okay, next up we have a highlighter and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. I'm so shocked. I'm grateful, but I'm shocked that some of these items didn't break in the mail. And this is what she looks like. I really wanted the I need a nude I need a glow something like that Natasha Denona her highlighter I really want wanted that highlighter and I still do but I stopped myself and I said no one highlighter because who am I to think that I'm going to finish any of them up man is that pretty so I decided to get this one since I could get it off of Nordstrom hold on sneeze Whew. and we're back I feel like my lash is lifting let me just check and I was right. This dang corner every single time. Here is that highlighter. It's like a pinky champagne shade. Love those shades any which way. You know, most people were saying it was like pink, but when I'm looking at it, I feel like, I mean, there is a hint of pink, but on my complexion, it looks a little bit more peach. I don't know. How's it coming off in the camera? Because to me, it looks peach. This is the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop. Look, I just put it back in the box because this is a haul video and this is how you YouTube, but I've used this already a dozen times. Heck, it's even dirty, okay? Bear with the beauty YouTube policies. Here is the palette. And so far, I have been really enjoying this. I think that when it comes to their pre-built pre palettes, I'm very particular, but since this is like an everyday, kind of a neutral nude palette, it was, it was okay for me to bite the bullet and just get a pre-made one. And this isn't as big as people were making out to be. I thought it was gonna be those huge suckers like Morphe, but it's not. And again, like I said, I've been enjoying it no complaints and I have the Stone Cold Fox coming. So these next two eyeshadow products, by the way, this is not gonna be an excuse or justification. Like I bought these things, I did, and I have no regrets. I'm not gonna say that I bought ever whatever, okay? I bought them. So on my wish list video, which I filmed, I think two weeks, two and a half weeks before I actually uploaded it, I mentioned that I would only break my no buy for one reason and one reason only. And that was if Pat McGrath had gone on sale and I can get the eyeshadow palettes at a discount. And lo and behold, she had a fall sale. I don't know if it's just it's a new thing or has it always has there always been a fall sale i felt like this year was the first time i actually noticed like huge sales during the fall time and this is pre black friday i thought black friday was the fall sale i don't know anyways pat mcgrath went on a 30 percent off sale and i was like what 30% off, I don't know what that looks like in calculation. So I went on the website and the palettes that are normally 125 went for I think $88. What? I think the discount total is $75 if you got two palettes, which I did. So the first one that I got here is, uh, man, I don't know what these things are called. Uh, Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. So I got this one. Should I keep the boxes? I didn't keep the box for the other one. I think having to unwind that thing is just gonna annoy me, so I'm probably just gonna throw the box away. 
but uh, this is why am I showing you the outside they all look the same and here we have the inside of the palette I used this once already god Pat McGrath why do you do this to me when I was done with that look I literally sat there and was was just in awe of not my makeup look <laughs> what well, kind of but also just the quality the blend like it just looked like butter on the skin and i know that's normally disgusting but it's a good kind maybe like butter on toast this one here is the divine rose original mothership seven palette i do have the divine rose two i think there's one more there's one more that i really want and it's currently they're currently having another sale for black friday i don't know if i'm gonna get it i really don't know but it's 30 percent off i could get 30 percent off this palette again and get it at 88 dollars instead of 125. i don't know what it was called like to, to be something you know it's either the word sublime or the word seduction or the word celestial this is the other palette <sighs> these palettes they're just so good they're so good why must it be this way can't these just be like twenty dollars yeah i got my pat mcgrath palettes on the fall sale so this was a little while ago but we all know that despite all the great things that um pat mcgrath does the shipping in a timely manner it's it's not in the forefront i got those two palettes and i'm still thinking of whether or not i'm going to pick up that last one that i want i forget what it's called i think it's like a lady with a red lip and it's got like a blue green background annabelle just shut up i'm just thinking like should i get it like i have spending money set aside not savings money like spending money and i really don't know when another 30 percent off is going to come up so I'm toying with the idea. I know technically I'm on a no buy, but come on, like that's 30% off. I can redo my no buy once I get it. You know what I mean? $88, $125, just crazy. Who knows when another 30% off is gonna come up. Then we have the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow, and I got the shade in for nude. And this came with my Sephora stuff. <laughs> my Sephora stuff, my you, was purchased the first week of September it is slightly similar to the one in divine rose 2 but not quite and i wanted something that was a little bit more it was fun but it's also something that i could feel comfortable just using on a daily basis as opposed to something like this it was very vibrant which is from jd glow but uh yeah i like i like that and then lastly we have blushes my blush collection or 2020 blush purchases video will be my last of the series because it is there's a lot okay let's get started the first one here is laura mercier and this is the shade fresco oh my god look that is the first i feel like i'm waving to you this is the first shade here fresco beautiful has a nice sheen to it there's kind of fine glitter in it but i think it's one of those things where it's just oh, it's just gonna go away my kind of shade kind of a peachy nude i'm so excited so excited okay notice guys notice guys when it comes to blush i all thought goes out the window <laughs> the next one here is the becca mineralized blush i got another one and this one is in wild honey <laughs> annabelle that looks like the shade that you just showed us well damn it oh well does that work i feel like i'm like you know look at my guns <laughs> don't have any but that is the second shade here a little bit more peachy in comparison to fresco and this one has more of a sheen where this one maybe looks more like a glow it's going to change depending on what's next to it but that's how i'm classifying it now sheen glow oh god blush all right next we have Lorac. i know When's the last time you heard of someone buying something from Lorac? But this blush, 
Um, this is in cinematic and I saw someone's blush collection and they showed this and I said why don't I have that oh yes it's so pigmented too this is what it looks like look at how pigmented this one is yes it's like a mauvey pinky shade so good the pigment when I swatch this sucker man this isn't matte this also is like a sheen it's similar to the uh becca one is this jerk annabelle whatever i did mention i think i did that i got a tom ford blush like i said for me blush don't matter <laughs> and this one here is inhibition tom ford sleeve i just throw these things away my gosh why this is the shade here Ooh. A little bit of a peachy pink moment right here and it does have fine glitter not as much as the Laura Mercier one but I mean very typical of the other Tom Ford ones that I have I hope you're able to see these just the gun show and then and then lastly I promise this is the last blush for now I have two coming from elf i don't even know if i'm gonna get that package really I, there has been no change in the tracking information since september 24th so maybe no but here we have patrick ta oh, been wanting this damn thing for so long and i got it in she's so la this one always sells out but i was lucky when i was on the website in september and i got it how do you open this? She's so LA. Gosh dang, it's so good. Let me swatch the cream as well while we're here. These bottom two shades. This is the powder, this is the cream. It is perfection. Oh my God, look at all these blushes. Look at all these blushes. It's kind of like this warm brown. I wouldn't say terracotta, like I wouldn't go that far. Maybe the cream looks a little terracotta, but the blush itself is just like a warm brown. Lovely. I'm so excited. By the way, I think ColourPop is here. I'll be right back. All right, so my palette did come in from ColourPop. I'm glad I get to show it to you because this is like it till December, January when I get all the other stuff that I purchased. Uh, October, maybe? But Stone Cold Fox palette. Hopefully it didn't break. Oh no, it looks like it did because it's dirty. Oh no, it didn't. Yes. It is pretty much the cool tone version of Bare Necessities. I'm just gonna throw away these boxes. Just, there you go. But that will be used. I think what I'm gonna do is the tutorial for either Christmas or New Year's using the Stone Cold and maybe the Pat McGrath in a Get Ready With Me because I prefer to do Get Ready With Me's. They're just more fun. And I got lip pencils. Here's the story behind these. I didn't want to get lip pencils, but to get just the Stone Cold Fox, I would have had to pay $10 shipping just to get that alone but if i added at least eight more dollars then i could get free shipping so i would have saved two dollars and got two extra things right i know makes no sense but i did it anyways <laughs> and so i got these two i think they were on sale i think these were four dollars a piece but i got the shade bff and obvi I always hear about BFF, so hopefully I like it and hopefully it actually shows up on me. <laughs> well, that's that shade down there. Moving right along, we have Avi. I definitely did do well at picking shades because I would use these two all the time. BFF is like a nude brown and then Avi, kind of like a mauve brown shade there all right guys thank you so much for joining me in this video i know it was a long one but that's pretty much it for 2020 maybe the pat mcgrath palette i don't know i'm still thinking i'm leaning 50 50 at this point point. and again i'll be showing you my 2020 purchases by categories i think the only two i have left are eyes and blush 
and that's it. If you guys are interested in this eyeshadow look, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. It'll be the first link in the description box down below where I post a photo of all my makeup looks along with all the products in the caption. By the way, I've decided, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna keep Instagram the way I usually do it because I know a lot of the local people that um, look at my makeup looks are looking at me via Instagram. So we will keep it as is. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.